the M of the M and H of bespoke hairstyles is back. Part two of the apple cider vinegar bicarbonate of soda um, mix. I have now washed my hair. It's a bit later than planned because I spent the rest of the afternoon with a client and then I had to have family time. So um, I needed to cleanse my hair so I went ahead and did it this evening. It is now drying within uh, my head wrap and this is how I normally um, dry my hair. After I've towel dried it, I normally twist it in so that the cloth absorbs it and there isn't um, any, I don't have problems with lint. So this is how I dry my hair. So at the end of this video posting, I'll show you the results of using the no poo um, mix. So I want to explain why I do what I do. So I always oil my hair first and um, thoroughly saturate my locks um, from root to tip. Today, this is what I use, castor oil, and almond oil. Um, from root to tip, I basically um, saturate my hair in oil, and that is because I want the moisture to be um, retained within my hair, um, and the oils do that for me. Um, I, I could use any oils, it just so happens this time I use castor and almond oil, but I could use any oil, mustard oil, olive oil, sesame seed oil. Um, it doesn't really matter to me because I'm going to rinse it out but I need my hair to feel conditioned at the end of the um, no poo regime um, it's very good because it also helps my lock stay um, detangled because sister locks after washing it you need to basically each lock has to be separated because they intertwine within themselves so this helps me quickly detangle my locks so love the oils then I use the apple cider vinegar and jasmine oil uh, mix there's the leftover I don't, I don't try and use all of it um, sometimes there's a bit of leftover that's fine um, and I use that second because I didn't want the smell of the apple cider vinegar to linger into my in my locks um, so I use that second it doesn't have too much of a smell because of the amount of water I use and the jasmine oil as well so it didn't really um, I didn't have any problems with the smell now um, this softens the, at this point it um hair's all oiled um, and feels really um, soft and curly this softens it even more so um the hardness of the locks you just feel the transformation it softens the lock it feels so nice and i literally from root to tip put it through and rub 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 now as i say this there is no lathering um there is a slipperiness to um, the hair but there is no lathering then our research has shown that the lathering isn't really that important so as I rinse through oh I forgot to say when I put the oil through thoroughly 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 rinse it through with lukewarm water all of it lukewarm water I used um, and that's because if it's too hot it strips off uh, all the oils and I, I didn't want that to happen so again I use lukewarm water to rinse off the apple cider vinegar uh, mix after thoroughly putting it through my hair, washing my the base of my hair, and then literally put to the ends of it, and then literally like a cloth, rubbing my locks, and then rubbing my locks in into it, softens it, lovely. Then bicarbonate of soda, apple cider vinegar, sorry, bicarbonate of soda mix. There it is apples, um, sorry, so so bicarbonate of soda, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, all of the same, and they all have the same effect so it doesn't matter which one I pick up I'll use any basically um, and um, I added water earlier I showed you how I did the mix so then I put it through the base of my hair to the tip of my lock again as I did with the outside of vinegar mix rub 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 thoroughly um, and then it just cleanses it cleanses so well all the build-up goes my scalp feels like it's breathing I mean all the buildup is gone it feels nice my locks feel soft now I only do this regime once a month the bicarbonate of soda rinse mix has a high pH level I think our pH level is supposed to be uh, no higher than seven I think it's 4.5 to 7 is the safest and the bicarbonate of soda I think is 8.3 so it's um, it can it's quite a harsh cleanser it does the job and once a month it does it well enough 
it strips everything including my henna and i love my henna i cannot afford for uh, my henna to go so once i've used it i mean i saw the color go th go through so once i've used it once and it also lightens the lock as well um it serves the purpose once a month i do it and uh, my locks feel soft everything's cleansed and then i will do another um regime and i will show you the next time i do another cleansing regime i'll show you what i what i use and um, after using the bicarbonate of soda rinsings, I literally, thoroughly, under the cool water, rinsed, rinsed, rinsed everything. I didn't want anything to be left in my scalp. And at the end of it, I basically still have the oils from the original um, oil application, the, the um, almond and um, castor oil in my hair. Now, let me show you what my hair looks like. See, this is what I do. So the lock is in here, so it can dry. And this is my hair after being um no pooed pre-oiled no poo um, and it feels lovely i can still feel the oil it doesn't feel dry um and it feels clean and that's it this is my hair all cleansed for another um i think another 10 days maybe 10 days later i will wash it and you'll see what i do then okay so this is it this is my hair um, I'm hoping that all the sparkle is hasn't been washed away the good thing about locks is the sparkle kind of stays in and I just top it up um, but this is it really this is my sister locks cleansed thank you no poo great that's it so stay connected everyone thank you very much for watching this post and my aim is to do a styling a quick styling so just stay connected and I, I intend to do that soon. All my contact details are contact details at the end of this posting. And if I've missed out anything, if there's knowledge that you have, if there's knowledge that you have that you wish to share with me, please feel free to share because I'm still learning. As I say, we're all still learning, myself and Aget. And there's always um, other things that could help us with our, our hair regime and our client's hair regime. Thank you everyone for watching. And please, please stay connected. Take care. Bye everyone. Bye.